Hi there. Today I've, uh, I'm going to make some loops out of, um, out of paper, three different loops and different sorts of loops and I'm going to cut them around that uh, the middle line of that piece of paper and you'll be surprised what, uh, what happens or what we get when I cut those down the, uh, down the center. So first of all I'm just going to make a standard loop so and I'll put a little bit of tape on both sides. So I'll make a standard loop first, and I'll just put that to one side. Now the next one, I'm just going to make it with a, a single twist in it. As you can see there on this piece of paper, I've got a pencil mark all the way down the center on one side, but not on the other. So when I spin it over, yep. When I spin it over, you can see pencil. Uh, and put one twist and I got a pencil mark on one side and no pencil mark on the other and put a little tape on that's for a single twist and put that to one side and then the last strip of paper and by the way these papers are bits of paper are three centimeters wide and they're the length of an A4 sheet so with this last loop I'm going to put a double twist in so twist it once and twist it twice so you see the pencil mark on the same side and a little bit of tape to hold that together and a little bit of tape there as well to hold that together to put that one to one side now what I'm going to do now is with the first loop this should be fairly easy to predict what happens when I cut this loop down the center with the scissors and be very careful when you're working with scissors that you don't cut yourself or hurt yourself in any way if you're a kid you might want to ask an adult to help you if you're having trouble so if you want to uh, no this one this one's fairly obvious so obviously when you cut that down the middle you end up with two separate loops so put that to one side now this is where it's getting a bit more interesting is this is the loop with the single twist so I will give that a snip and cut that down the middle down the middle of this uh, loop and spin that over keep cutting now if you want to think about what's going to happen with this one before I make the final cut press the pause button in the bottom left hand corner otherwise I'm going to show you if you want to think about it press the pause button otherwise I'm going to show you that when you cut this loop down the middle you end up with one big long loop when you cut a single twist loop you get one big long twist okay put that to one side now the last one this is the one with the double twist and I'll give that a snip and cut this down along the middle down along the center and spin that over and keep going be careful that uh, when you're cutting that you don't cut through the, the other side somehow now this one as well if you want to think about what uh, what might happen when you cut this uh, this double twist um, down the middle press the pause button in the bottom left hand corner otherwise I'm going to show you that when you cut this down the middle boom, you end up with two loops but they're connected to each other in the chain so there we go I hope you were surprised at the result there I certainly was when I first did this, this uh, experiment so you can either end up with uh, a loop with no twists you get two single twists a loop with a single twist in it you get a big long chain a big long loop and a loop with a double twist cut it down the middle and you end up with two single loops that are joined together in a chain so there we go hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching